The definition of branding is very, very broad. Everyone's definition of branding can be a little bit different, although they still achieve the same thing. To me, branding is more of like an integrity type thing. Branding to me is how people visualize your company when you're not there to explain it. That is what branding is to me. So think about when people say the name of your company, what words do you want to come to mind in their, in their head? What do you want them to say about your company when you're not there to explain it? That's what branding truly is to me. Let's say that everything is working perfect. You go on with the same brand that you've chosen and that you've worked with, that you've carried throughout your business, and you're, you're using that same brand for a number of years. And you realize that your brand is slowly losing some of its effectiveness. What do you do? Do you just keep on with it because that's what you've done for years? Or do you do like most hard situations in life and you figure out a way to change it and to overcome it? So sometimes you may be in the business for a long time and you realize that your brand is not working anymore. It's okay to change and it's okay to fail at your brand. You know, there may be a reason that, you know what, I need a, I need a rebirth. I'm starting a, a new division or a new direction. So don't feel like that just because you've had this brand for a certain long period of time, that you have to always stick with it. If it's starting to break, hey, start repairing it. So just because you have it doesn't mean it can't change and move in a new direction, and you can even create a new brand that'll be even bigger, better, and more effective than what you've always had. A lot of people, when I ask them about branding, you know, what is branding to you? And really, the only thing they can describe is, well, branding... Um, I have this really cool logo. That is very important, but that's not necessarily what branding is. That's a big part of it, which leads me to this. If your company name is just simply your name, I still feel that it's very important to have a recognizable, professional, really catchy logo, something that you're really proud of that's very highly recognizable. So consult with people. There are professionals out there that you can basically take a few items that are very near and dear to you, present it to them, things of importance, and let a professional put together a really high-end logo that you'd be really proud of because that is what people are going to see. That's what people are going to so associate with your name and your brand. So really branding a lot of times can kick off and start with a really, really high-end, professionally designed logo. So don't fall short on your logo because again, that's another thing that can speak to people when you're not there to speak to them in person.